bones of the leg, tibia, fibula, tib fib, as I never call it. Uh, these are the bones of your leg, and the way that I have it set up here, your knee would be here. This is the superior end. Your feet would be down here. This is the inferior end. So you can see how they articulate together. You'll notice, of course, there are two of them. So if you think back to bones of your arm, we have one bone in our arm and two bones in our forearm. So your humerus is in your brachium, your radius and your ulna are in your antebrachium. Similar setup here. We have one bone of the thigh, that's your femur, and we have these two bones of your leg. Again, tibia, fibula. So let's take these one at a time. If we look at the fibula, at the superior end, we have the head. We have the diaphysis. The diaphysis is the shaft of the bone. And then we come down to the inferior end, and we have what we call the lateral malleolus. Lateral malleolus. If we look at the tibia, this is an anterior view. Now we're looking at the superior end of it. So your femur, the condyles of your femur are going to sit right here. In fact, if I move it this way, you can see these two smooth surfaces. We call these the articular surfaces of the lateral and medial condyles. So this is the lateral condyle of the tibia. This is the medial condyle of the tibia. And this bump right here, let's see if I can get a little closer here, this bump right here, that's your tibial tuberosity. Tibial tuberosity. If you're seated right now and you feel your patella, your kneecap, okay, go ahead and palpate your kneecap. This is not your kneecap. Go down a little bit further and you'll feel a bump right here. That's your tibial tuberosity. If you see the tibial tuberosity or you feel the tibial tuberosity, of course, you're looking at or feeling the anterior side of your tibia. From there, we go all the way down the diaphysis. You'll feel this sharp anterior crest, even if you palpate it on yourself. That sharp anterior crest comes all the way down, and it brings us to the lower portion, the inferior portion, and this is what we call the medial malleolus, the medial malleolus. So, back to the way that these bones articulate with one another. If I show you the inferior end of this, the inferior end, so the end by your ankle or by your foot. Your foot is going to be sitting right here. This is the medial malleolus. You can feel it on yourself. If you palpate your quote unquote inside ankle, the bump on the inside of your ankle, and the lateral ankle, the bump on the outside of your ankle, that's your lateral malleolus. Medial malleolus, lateral malleolus. So this is the medial malleolus, and I know that we're looking at the anterior side here. This must be a right tibia. Tibia, fibula.